did you know that there's a place around San Diego that is like a resort community and has a marine setting where people can have boats and everything? I'm gonna be telling you about this great place in just a minute. Just four miles down from the village of Coronado on this silver strand, there's a great community that feels almost like a resort. It's got hundreds and hundreds of houses and condominiums, but it's developed into 10 different villages. It's called the Coronado Cays, and it's just a fabulous place that a lot of people don't necessarily know about. It's a, a marine type of neighborhood where you can have a boat, and many of the places, whether it's leasing the boat slip or owning your own, depending on what kind of property you have here. So we're gonna talk about this and let you know about the different communities. And it's right between the bay and the ocean. It's a very quick, quick walk to the ocean. Makes it a great value because for the price, you're really right practically on ocean property. The Coronado Cays happens to be adjacent to Lowe's Resort, which is just a great place. Like if you're coming into town from somewhere else and you want to investigate the Cays, Stay at the Lowe's Resort. It's, it's a very nice place and it's right next to this development here. Um, there's a great pool, there's some water activities as well, and it's really a, a, a grade A resort. Very, very nice. Out of the 10 villages that are at the Coronado Cays, this is the one on the very end closest to Lowe's Resort. It's called Montego Village. And it's condominiums that have a total of you know three stories high. There's a nice pool and little clubhouse as well. Most of these villages have that. Very nice. And it's right next to a playground as well. There's a first floor unit at this place at Montego Village and the second uh, level up has two stories. These are around 1,550 square feet close to that. And right now they're going between about 1.1 or so to maybe 1.5. Here's a little bit more of Montego Village and you can see how very close this is to Lowe's Resort. It's just right down this pathway. It's a wonderful place to go for breakfast or for a glass of wine. That's what I like doing and you can watch the sunset um, over the bay. Now we're over at Jamaica Village. It's the second little village that's just right from the end from the one that we were just at. And these are places that are townhomes. Uh, there might be just a couple detached homes, but they're mostly townhomes here. Seems like they're going between about 1.4 to 2.5, something to that effect. But one thing that's really nice is there's a lot of little sidewalks around here and paths to go through. I used to live in this little village and just loved it. It's got a nice clubhouse and a pool. I love that about this place. One of the great things about Jamaica Village is it's got its own beach. A lot of the other villages don't have that at all. So you can actually go swimming in here if you want or paddle boarding. But as you can see, this is what this boating community looks like. And you definitely don't have to have a boat to enjoy this great place. Here's the clubhouse. And if you look over here, you can see there's a nice little barbecue place. You can have a party, um, a couple different grills here. Now here we are at Coronado Cays Park. It's a four acre park. It's got a playground down there as well. A lot of people like to meet here and bring their dogs and the dogs run around. Of course they have to pick up after them. And then over this way is a uh, nice set of tennis courts. It's pretty elaborate as far as how many courts there are. So people play some pickleball there and they also just enjoy tennis as well. Right across the street is the ocean. The case has its own fire station, so that'll bring your insurance rate down a little bit probably from having this here. Now right behind me is Kingston Village. This is a nice townhome area with around 100 townhomes. And uh, they each have a one car garage, around 13 to 1400 square feet, and two or three bedrooms. Uh, they each have a dock also and a patio. You can see how beautiful this is with um, the backyards just backing right up to the boat dock here. So you can have 
have a boat, you don't have to, but it sure is nice to, at least a small one. Now here we are at a nature park in the Coronado Caves called Grand Carib Isle. It's very nice. It's a nice little walk on a dirt path. And you've got the, the bay right here, the San Diego Bay. Some beautiful kind of exotic plants and flowers. It's kept up well. And many of the residents here enjoy this. It's very peaceful, not crowded at all. Now right over here, you're going to see a little area where there's a business center and there's a restaurant, Calypso K's restaurant, Calypso Cafe. It's really good. I've eaten there several times. Good breakfast, good lunch, and a few grocery items as well. The Coronado K's has its own little yacht club. Now it, there is a membership fee for it and you don't have to join it, but it sure is nice. And a lot of people that live here belong to it. They really, really do enjoy it. Uh, you can uh, lease a boat slip here if you want, or uh, there's some great dining and activities as well. Here's the view from the Coronado K's Yacht Club back patio. It's just really nice. People enjoy getting together and eating here. And on Wednesday evenings, I know they have something called beer can races where the members, and they can even invite guests as well, um, can sail around the bay and have some contests and stuff like that. Now across this little causeway here, there is Antigua and these are all condominiums. Actually, they've got a garage though, but they're first floor or second floor. They just have one level. They're very nice. Several of these people have, everybody's got a boat slip. It's close to the little village here and the yacht club as well. Now we're back at the park again, the large four acre park with the tennis courts and just right across the way of, of the whole K's development is the ocean and the beach. It's a great beach, it's called Silver Strand Beach and I like it, it's my favorite because it's a little bit quieter and there's Point Loma way in the distance. This is Trinidad Village over here and these are detached, mostly detached single family homes not on the water, but they sure are nice. You're gonna find these running between about probably 1.5 to 2.2, something like that. Now, here we have Blue Anchor K, and there are a few neighborhoods like this, like Green Turtle also. Very nice detached housing, and they all have boat slips. This is really great. They can range in size too, maybe from 2,000 at the smallest to much larger, like 5,000, 6,000. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the Coronado Cays. I didn't show you every single village, but just selected maybe six or so to show you, to give you an idea of what it's like. If you have any more questions, give me a call. This is a wonderful development and just a hidden gem in some ways. Have a great day.